Hey there, fellow TPD sellers. Are you tired of relying solely on Teachers Pay Teachers for your sales traffic? Are you frustrated by changes to the TPT search algorithm? Are you worried about the recent sale of Teachers Pay Teachers to a different education company? If so, you are in luck. In today's episode, I'm gonna show you how to find new sales traffic for your best-selling TPT products using organic search. That means teachers who are searching on Google for that topic. Check this out. Hi everyone, my name is Mike Fuchigami. I am the host of the SEOTpreneur community. This is a place where we use strategies, effort, optimization, and tinkering as a process to increase sales on our TPT stores and to overcome challenges that inevitably come up, like TPT getting sold to another company. Yeah, that happens, it's okay. So, why is this episode important? Well, first of all, we hit a milestone. We hit 500 subscribers. This is a huge milestone, thank you so much. This is because literally 500 of you subscribe to the channel because you recognize that this is content that you're not getting from other TPT sellers on YouTube and other TPT forums and other Facebook groups. So thank you. Now, to thank you, I have something very special in this episode and I've developed a free Google Sheet tool to help you figure out how to generate um, your own organic search traffic for your best-selling TPT products. And this is incredibly important because inevitably there are problems with TPT, inevitably there are problems with business, inevitably there are problems with life. And so being able to have that equanimity and calmness to sort of make business decisions, realizing that there are problems in the future and we might have to change directions, that's all part of the game. And so I've developed a free tool to help you figure out what keywords to go after on Google, not on TPT. There's no TPT analytics tool that can pull out keywords. That doesn't exist. But we do have those tools for Google and I'm gonna show you how to use those tools so that you can start to develop on your own land on the internet so that people are finding your website and then you send them to TPT so that no matter what happens with TPT, your website is the core of your business and then you can go to wherever your sales mechanism is. I love TPT. I'm not really worried about changes in the future because I've taken certain steps to future-proof my store, but change isn't always bad. This sale could actually be fantastic things for TPT. So I'm excited, you should be too, but we're not stupid. We need to take steps to maintain our business and this is something that'll help you do it. So. I'm going to show you how to use this free Google Sheets tool uh, and I'm going to show you how to get data for your own TPT store. This is for my best selling product. I'll explain a little bit how to use this. And then some of you, some of you are true SEO entrepreneurs. You've been here from day one. You've been here for a while. You've been subscribing to the channel like early on. You've been leaving comments and I have something super special for you at the end of this episode. So I'll tell you more about that later. Why is this important for your TPT business? Well, recently at the start of March, 2023, IXL Learning is a company that is an umbrella group and they purchased TPT. It's already on their website. The sale has happened a few days ago. TPT sent out um, an email and then IXL has also published a press release about this sale. That's okay. Change happens. If you've taken that free TPT seller business course, uh, it walks you through how to deal with changes with a sense of equanimity because this is inevitable. One of the best ways to future-proof your TPT business is by creating a website on your own domain and starting to generate traffic that you send to your best sellers TPT products. So basically the way that this works is teachers look for our topic on Google. We want your website to show up. They click on your website, they like what they see. Maybe they sign up for your email newsletter, they like what they see. They buy your TPT products, they like what they see. You have their email address in your newsletter mailing list. So you continue to nurture this relationship. They like what they see, you retain them, you upsell them on more content. They become one of your raving fans. They talk about you, people are searching you by brand. That's the goal. So some of you have started your TPT blogs, Awesome. Some of you have started your TPT blogs and then gave up. That happens. 
In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize what you do on your TPT WordPress websites so that you have the best chance of starting to generate traffic that then leads to sales and then you start to feel good about this so you invest more time in this blog and you get more sales and the cycle repeats. This information, all of this, is on the SEOTpreneur.com episode 22. You'll get to the show notes for this episode uh, and just to cut to the chase, it says here, click here to get a copy of the free uh, SEOTpreneur TPT blog keyword magic analysis tool. I click here. It's gonna take me to a page that is password protected. We hit 500 subscribers, here's the password. And then I click enter. And I get to the password protected site and there is a link here. And I just click on this copy, force copy link and Google Sheets will ask me, hey, do you wanna make a copy of this document? So I'm gonna say yes, make a copy. And boom, you have the spreadsheet tool that I'm gonna walk us through today. That's how it works, that's easy. So anyways, on the SEOTpreneur, the episode 22 show notes, uh, I have a cheat sheet, which is the five steps that I'm gonna go through here right now. Here's the game plan. We're gonna use the TPT dashboard to figure out your best selling TPT product. I'll talk about that more in a second. We're gonna use chat GPT to figure out a keyword that will drive traffic to your best selling TPT product. Step three is we're gonna use SEMrush to download some traffic data. This may be an affiliate link in the future, who knows, but it won't change the cost. You can do everything for free right now as a trial. Uh, step four, we're gonna use the free SEOTpreneur TPT blog keyword magic analysis tool because not all keywords are worth spending time on. So that tool will help us decide what to go after. And then finally five, I'm not gonna go into this episode because I'm gonna run out of time, but the next step is to create a WordPress TPT blog if you haven't done so already, or to update your TPT blog website so that we can focus on this cornerstone content. And later on, we're still in pre-alpha right now, private pre-alpha, but if you need affordable WordPress hosting for TPT sellers, and it comes with the TPT Teacherpreneur WordPress theme that we're making here, um, leave a comment in the YouTube video and I'll get back to you on that. It's an exclusive club right now because it's still under development. We'll talk more about that later. All right, step one, use the TPT dashboard to figure out your best selling product. I click here, I go to my TPT account, I'm signed in. I click on, uh, the time period is all time. And I'm gonna say here for my entire store, I don't even have to do anything. I can see from the sales here, it's sorted by best seller. What I will do, cause I'm kinda curious, is I'm gonna click on that first product and just see overall the trends. Like, is it doing well? Is it still doing well? Because if it's still doing well, yeah, hit, hit what? What's the expression? Hit the hammer while the iron's hot. Yeah, keep on going. But for example, if it did really well during the pandemic and now it's not selling, that's not the product to go after. We're looking for our best selling TPT products because we know that product will convert. So if we get traffic for this topic and we send it to our TPT product and it doesn't convert, it's easy for us to say, okay, well, I tried that TPT blog, TPT website thing, it didn't work. What else you got? So we wanna, we want to promote our best sellers. Let's, let's focus on what's working. Let's get this even more. And then if this best seller starts to sell more, sales is an important um, ranking factor on TPT search, right? It has to be because TPT search is about making more money for the company and for us. So therefore, let's promote what's already working. If we get more sales, then it's a snowball effect. I might just for, for the sake of argument, uh, I'm going to go look at my second best seller. See, this second bestseller did really well in the 20s and I'm guessing that's the pandemic, my mind's mush, but it's not doing great right now. So I'm not gonna go for that product. And then let's just look at my third bestseller, right? Again, yeah, it's kind of doing well, but my bestseller, like based on this, I'm gonna figure out what my bestseller is and I've determined it to be this product here, my reading strategy bundle, because sales are consistent. Pause the video. Go to seotpreneur.com slash episode 22. Click on that use a TPT dashboard and figure out what your best seller is. Literally pause the video. And this is important because 
If you just watch this, you're passively watching it. Whereas if you take an active step in your learner, we know this, right? Like active learning is better than just sitting in the classroom, listening to the content, go in one year and out the other year. So pause the video, go to the TPT dashboard, figure out what your best selling product is, and then come back. All right, I'm just gonna assume you came back because this is YouTube, it's a one way medium. All right, here's my best-selling product. I know it's my best-selling product. I decided I want to sell it be or promote it because it's still best-selling. Here's the link. Okay, on step two, I'm going to use ChatGPT to figure out the keyword to go after this topic. Okay, so I click on this link. I go to ChatGPT. I've already signed in. I'm going to use ChatGPT to try to pull out a couple of keywords that summarize my product descriptions. So let's start with the question. Uh, can you tell me five keywords um, to try to focus on that promote, to focus on to drive organic Google search traffic to this product? And then here's the key here, hold the shift key and then enter because if I just hit enter, it's gonna start a conversation. I, I wanna just put all the information in one. So I hit shift enter to add that space. All right, now I'm gonna to go to my product. I'm gonna copy the title. I'm gonna control C, copy that. I'm going to, oops, control V, paste the title. And then again, I'm gonna go shift enter enter because I wanna put the product description in here as well. I don't wanna go down a wild goose trace. Oh, I don't know. All right, so let's scroll down here. Here's my product description. And I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna go down to the very bottom of my product description. There we go. So here's the end of my product description. I'm gonna go Control C to copy that. I'm gonna go into ChatGPT. I'm gonna go Control V to paste it in. All right, and now let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. Boom. So it came up with five potential keywords for me to think about focusing on. I can regenerate the response. Let's see if it's any different. Not really. Let's try regenerate the response again. No. And, and I can see the order is significant, right? So that first one, that's what it thinks this is really about. Now, bonus pro tip. I'm not going to do this right now, but I could say something like, can you create a few long tail keywords right and so now it's coming up with some longer options I don't want that I want to focus on just these regular keywords reading comprehension strategies so I could focus on active reading but I'm gonna go for reading comprehension strategies because that's number one so take a moment to pause and do this now and it's important that you do this because you need to look at your results so that I can explain something and it'll mean, it'll mean more if you do this. So pause the video, go to, go to episode 22, seotpreneur.com episode 22. On step two, click on use chat GPT and then go through this process and get chat GPT to come up with five keywords. Okay, welcome back. So look at your five keywords that it suggested here. If these five keywords have nothing to do with your TPT product or they're too generic like handouts, right? Then that means you need to rewrite your product description. If there's not enough information for ChatGPT to figure out that this is about reading strategies, then there's not enough information for Google to figure that out. There's not enough information in your product description for TPT, the search algorithm to figure it out. So your product will never rank, right? So you know, and only you know, what's actually in this product, right? You know what's in this product. But if you have not, if the product description doesn't match what's in the product, you're not getting any sales and you won't get any visibility on TPT. So super important step. If these keywords do not match what that product actually is, right? Or if you ask for long tail keywords and it doesn't match, it's time to rewrite that product description. Your product description is too short. It doesn't have enough information. Okay, so I'm gonna assume to go on to the next step 
that you have decided, yeah, one of these keywords, and hopefully it's number one, it should be number one, otherwise you need to rewrite your product description. But yeah, reading comprehension strategies, that's the keyword I wanna try, try to go for. So that's what I'm gonna use for my next step, reading comprehension strategies. And you want something around three or four words. Step three, so I go back to the show notes for episode 22. Step three is to use SEMrush to download related keywords. I'm gonna click on that link. I'm gonna to go to SEMrush. And in fact, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that first keyword, control C, gonna go into SEMrush, control V, I'm gonna paste it in here. Uh, and I'm gonna leave it on the US database because TPT's primary market is the US database. So it's gonna ask me to create an account. So I'm gonna create a new account. <laughs> You go into your email, you find that activation code. Here's my activation code. I copy that, I paste it in here. I activate this account. Let's customize your workflow. I don't know how long I've been working with SEO. I'm only going to use the free tools. I'm not really sure which decides uh, my company. Choose your trial plan. I'm gonna skip the trial. Oh, can I get a free trial? Seven days pro? Yeah, I, I could, but I'm gonna skip the trial. Skipping the trial plan still allows you to use SEMrush with limited access. Okay, so I'm gonna skip the trial. I don't wanna give my credit card stuff. Skip trial. Let's be in touch. Wow, this is a lot. Mike, uh, SEOT. I'm gonna skip this. Oh, good. Okay. Boom. Here we go. So without starting a trial, without giving my credit card, SEMrush will give me a couple of free reports every day. And a report is basically, I can just do a query. I can do a search. So I've searched for reading comprehension strategies, right? This is a keyword overview. I can see the trend, right? So this is the trend the last 12 months. So last month, the month before that, it shows me the trend in terms of how much traffic it's getting. I can see here the cost per click. So I'm not gonna buy ads for this, but other people are buying ads on Google for this key phrase, reading comprehension strategies. And then they bid and they compete and the average cost per click of those ads is $1.75. And the competition rate here, um, the level of competition between the other advertisers is around 0.46. One is hard, a lot of competition, zero is no competition. I'm not going to buy ads, but this cost per click number is important because it tells me how valuable that keyword is. I can see the keyword difficulty. So this is important here because I can see how hard it is to rank for this keyword. 53% is difficult. Not impossible, but not easy right away. But okay, so I'll talk more about the rankings in a second. What I wanna do is if I scroll down here, now be careful, don't start clicking all around because you only get a limited number of clicks and each day and then otherwise you're gonna have to do this tomorrow. So I can see the kinds of contents that are related. So this is stuff that I could write about on my blog, on my TPT blog. I get ideas about this. I can see related keywords, but right now I'm gonna focus on keyword variations and I'm gonna click on here. So just in this screen here, it says the reading comprehension strategies. That's what I tried. I can see the search volume. So on average, 4.4 thousand people per month are searching for this word in America, in the US database. And the keyword density is 53. Whereas someone also types the keyword phrase, comprehension strategies for reading. But that one has a lot less people searching, 80 per month. Do you see the difference? So it might make sense for me to go after this 4,000 keyword instead of this 880 keyword. I'll talk more about that in a second. But I can also see here, here are like five keyword variations and the keyword densities. I wanna view all of these keywords. There are 2,000 keywords. Let's click on that. Okay, so on my second screen here, I see a bunch of information. And I could go exploring in here, but the moment I start exploring, I'm gonna run out of like, you can only click so many times before it says, hey, you're out of your daily limit. Do you want to start a free trial? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to just click here and I'm just going to export. Oh, you won't let me export this. Limited access to the export feature. Please switch to the pro plan to open new possibilities. You're going to like it. Get free trial. Oh, I don't like that. I don't want to do that. Oh, that's a huge... Oh, 
you have to give your credit card information. I don't want to give my credit card information. Okay, let's see if I can do this in a completely free way. You could do a free trial and then download this information. Um, but let's see if I can do this for free. So let's just copy this because you can only see a few control C copy. I'm just going to go to that copy thing here. And if I just go right click, can I go control V? What will happen? No. Let's open up a new tab. Control shift V? No. Control V. <gasps> you make it hard to copy. Oh, that's frustrating. Wow. That's going to suck because you got to do this manually. Yeah. Okay. You got a couple options here. Export is the easiest way. And then you click on get free trial. But the moment I click on get free trial, I've got to put in a credit card number. And some of you will be happy with that. Some of you won't be happy with that. So I'm going to try to do this without having to do a free trial, which means I, I'm trying to figure out, is there a way for me just to copy this information into a spreadsheet? Okay, I figured it out. So here's how you can do it completely free without putting in your credit card information. No one wants to do that. So here is the table. And as you remember, I can't export it without starting a free trial, without asking it, giving my credit card information. And if I try to copy the keywords here like that, so if I just go control C to copy, if I go into my spreadsheet, and I'm just going to create a blank spreadsheet here. If I just go control V to paste the way that it's formatted on the website, it's not a proper table, so I can't pull it. It doesn't look right. And so this is where chat GPT comes in. Oh my gosh, chat GPT is crazy. I just go into a new chat and I say, I say, can you convert the following information into a proper table and then I'm just going to hold shift enter shift enter because I want it all in one question I go control V to paste in the same information from SEMrush I hit enter and it pulls it into a properly formatted table and since it's properly formatted now as a table I can copy paste it into Google Sheets give it a second to think crazy 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 okay so I'm going to copy copy that control C I'll give it a thumbs up uh, okay so I'm gonna go into this SEMrush my my spreadsheet here I'm just going to I don't know control a delete everything all right so I'm going to now paste this table and now it's getting pasted in as a proper table a properly formatted table the spreadsheet tool that I have here the order of the columns is different because this is based on the spreadsheet, like the, 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 when you export data from SEMrush. So we actually need to match the formatting of this spreadsheet column here. So I'm just going to copy these titles here, go control C. I'm going to go into, um, where I pasted the data, the free data from data, uh, SEMrush. I'm going to go control V to paste in the headlines. All right. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to copy select all this control X to copy it to cut it and control V all right in the volume I'm just gonna uh, control I'm gonna click up there shift click the bottom control X and then I'm gonna paste in the volume uh, keyword difficulty as a percentage I'm gonna select that I'm gonna control X to cut it I'm gonna paste it cost per click select cut paste the competition number for the ads control X and then control V to paste that in. SF is a SERP, number of SERP features there are. Um, to be honest, I don't really need that. I might do intent though. Control X and I'm gonna paste that in here. Oh, okay, number of results. Uh, sure, let's put this in here as well. I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna paste that in here. Oops, I made a mistake. Let's just undo. So let's do intent. Cut that, paste that. Let's do the number of results, cut that, paste that. Let's do the number of uh, SERP features, search engine result page features, cut that, paste that. Trend, I can ignore because the, the data is not here. All I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna select this keyword, including the title. I'm gonna go Control C to copy this data. I'm gonna go into this tab that says SEMrush. I'm gonna click on this yellow spot, so click on the yellow, and then I'm just gonna go Control V. 
Boom. Okay, and everything should work. Uh, I should have, I have a formula here in the blue and it should have come up with a difficult rating. For those of you who are, who are curious, if you click on definitions, this is the keyword difficulty and the rating. So from uh, one to 15%, it's very easy. From like 15 to 29, it's, it's easy, et cetera, et cetera. If I now click on my pivot table, hello, what's going on here? Oh, it's not showing everything. So I'm just gonna click on edit. Uh, I might have to go to the bottom here and I'm gonna click select all because I added some information. Select all for the filters. I'm gonna select all. Here we go. So now I can see this information sort of parsed as a table here. I'm starting to be able to see this average cost per click divided by zero. You can ignore that. That's just because there's the blank spaces. See all these blank spaces here. Um, the spreadsheet thinks it's a zero. So ignore that. Here's my pivot table. Okay, so that's interesting. I might be able to see, well, this search volume has 4,400 search words. Uh, that's pretty important. But I don't really have a sense of, well, what should I go after here? I'm gonna click here. And in this chart, this is a chart of the average search volume. So the higher it is, the more searches there are per month for that keyword. Uh, versus keyword difficulty. So easy is on the left and difficult on the right, right? And then the size of the bubble is how much um, people, how expensive these are if I were to run ads. And now this one, I'm looking for outliers. Like this one here, if I hover over, I can see the keyword is reading comprehension strategies. So this one is way more worth my effort than going after this one, which is comprehension reading strategies. Even though they're both in the same category and tier, because there's so much more traffic here, I should go for it. Likewise, look at this tiny bubble here. The cost per click is minimal, reading comprehension strategies for middle school. It doesn't necessarily mean I shouldn't go after it. I just think, okay, people aren't running ads on that. Whereas this one here, people are spending more money for ads. So I'm looking at these charts to get a sense of outliers. I might click on the volume log. So this is a logarithmic scale. So basically what it is, it lets me see the bottom numbers a little bit more accurately. The keyword difficulty is still the same scale here. So right away, I can see in terms of search volume, because it's spread out here, yeah, comprehension strategies for reading, it's possible I should go over, I should go for that word way before I try to go for reading strategies for comprehension. Like this keyword here, strategies to improve reading comprehension. Well, there's less traffic for that, right? Only maybe 200 people searching per month. I could go after this one, which is comprehension strategies for reading, because that's a lot easier to rank on Google for. So even though it might take me the same amount of time, if I'm writing blog words like, hey, like if I'm just writing on my TPT blog posts, here are some strategies to improve reading comprehension. That's not strategic because shh, this is so hard to rank for. It's like, a, like, like up here in 70, it's a difficult keyword to rank for. Whereas this one here, comprehension strategies for reading, even though it's a minor change in the way I structure the, the, the phrase on, on my Google post, this is what I want to target. Yes, you want to write, like include a bunch of variations for the keywords, but in terms of thinking about which keyword I'm going after, that's my strategy here. Okay, let's look at cost per click. So chart number three, this is the paid ads cost per click. So on the vertical axis, how much are people willing to pay for this ad, right? So $2, these ads are more expensive. At the bottom, either ads aren't running or SEMrush wasn't able to uh, capture a Google search result running those ads. Like people might be running the ads, but SEMrush maybe didn't see it at that time. So I can see here, and then on the right hand side, uh, on the bottom from left to right, left is easy, right is hard. So for example, all of these keywords, they're about all worth the same amount in terms of how much people are spending for them on average. So again, I might look for an easy keyword here. Uh, oh, and the size of the bubble is the search volume. So I wanna look for an easy, like a, a bigger bubble here. I might look for comprehension strategies for reading because it's getting more traffic. It's roughly the same. I might start with comprehension strategies for reading 
but I'm also trying to rank eventually for reading comprehension strategies, right? Like, so this is where I'm thinking about, whereas up here on the right hand side, strategies to improve reading comprehension. Yeah, I don't want to go for that because it's just too difficult. I could go for this one here, reading comprehension strategies PDF. And actually that is my strategy. That's what I'm really doing here because reading comprehension strategies PDF, if I rank for that, well, reading comprehension strategies is part of that keyword. So eventually I'll, I'll be able to target that, the bigger keywords. Uh, and then finally, this last chart here, number four. This is a logarithmic scale. Um, is it a logarithmic scale? That doesn't look like a logarithmic scale. So to recap, I'm going to go after comprehension strategies for reading. I do want this one reading comprehension strategies, but I recognize this is my big plan. It's going to take me a while to get here, but that's my big picture goal. This might be a couple years for me to rank reading comprehension strategies. So along the way, I'm going to try to target things for comprehension strategies for reading as well as reading comprehension strategies PDF. So step five, which is beyond the scope of this video, is to create that WordPress TPT blog or business WordPress site. And what I'm doing for us in the SEO printer community is I'm building this along. Um, you have to be a member to be able to access this. So I'm just going to log in so you can see it. But I'm making a, a TPT blog WordPress website course. I've learned a lot over the last decade and a half about how to make WordPress websites and how to structure things for digital marketing, for small clients, et cetera, et cetera. So basically what I'm doing is I am making a TPT website. And as I make it from scratch, I am creating lessons like little video lessons, right? And this one here using chat GPT. Yeah, that's really good. Right. I haven't posted it yet, but that's how to write your homepage so that you rank. But as I create these little lessons, if I click on this here, I just create like a little video showing you how to do the steps, right? So that's going to be available for teacherpreneurs, SEOT preneurs who are part of this community. But basically the next step is you create blog posts about that keyword. So my strategy, my real world strategy here, right? <clears throat> I'm looking for reading comprehension strategies. So that's why I bought the domain name reading. Well, I bought reading strategies.ca. Maybe I should go for reading comprehension strategies. That's that strategy. That's not bad. Maybe I need to change that. Ah, oh, now I got to go buy that domain before someone buys it. I bet you it's bought anyways. Anyways, we'll talk more about that later. But yeah, see right here, reading comprehension strategy PDF. So I am going after this keyword reading comprehension strategies PDF. And if I go, um, one of the things that I'm doing to document my journey to help other TPT sellers is if I go into the SEOT Premier Pro membership, oh, I'm already part of it. Sorry. If I go to groups, so here's my groups and I have this SEOT Pro discussion group, uh, and in the discussion group, give it a second to load here. So I have discussions. I have this, uh, here we go. So. We do this, like one of the things I'm trying to do is I know I work best when I'm accountable to other people. So I'm hosting these little group chats, these weekly check-ins, and then the videos are posted there. But then afterwards I'm documenting what I'm doing for my homework. And my homework is basically, okay, I'm going to work on my reading strategy website. Here's the post that I published. So you can see the post that I just published. You can see what I'm actually doing to try to rank for this. And then I'll talk about like, Hey, I added it. I added it to Google search console. If you have questions, you can ask here. Uh, I talked about different paragraph posts here. Um, I'll talk about how I'm doing linking within the post to try to build internal links so that Google knows that like knows what's important on my page. And that helps me to rank for my keywords. Uh, and then something else that I'm really proud about here, like I'm showing here, right? SEMrush tells me that my rank in organic Google search went from 53 to 15, right? Take that with a grain of salt because these things go up and down, but I document my journey, what I'm doing to try to rank for, for keywords. 
Even though I know that Teachers Pay Teachers is a great source of traffic, I know I need to future-proof myself, I need to get my own customers, I know that people will click here, they'll say, hey, get the Reading Strategies Mega Bundle, so they go here, they like what they see, and then they buy it. And then that will help me increase sales on this, on this product, and increase sales, and increase like, I view the product, and then I buy it. Those, like, that's a conversion rate signal, right? So then, those are all things that help me to rank more on TPT for this product, which then, helps you rank higher on TPT search for this product. So it's a snowball effect. And that's why you have to work on your best selling products because that snowball effect. If there was something new in this video that you haven't seen in other TPT forums, in uh, Facebook groups, in other YouTube channels for TPT sellers, can you go ahead and subscribe to the channel? Because that way you get more content that other people aren't telling you about. And that's gonna help us hit the next milestone which is 1,000 subs. So if you like this video, hit like. If you like this video, share it with others. Please help the community grow so that I can continue to create content like this and we can all get to the top of that TPT seller journey. All right, we'll see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye. In this episode, I have no energy. All right, let's try this again. It's because this is too close. I don't know what to do. This is bothering me. All right, let's try this. But then it's too hot. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, let's try this. All right, boom, boom, boom. This really is bothering me. This is too hard. So for the first time, I'm reading off of a script because I use ChatGPT to try to help me come up with a script, but it's breaking the flow and uh, it's just, all right, so I'm just gonna start talking and teaching. Let's do this, here we go. If you're still watching, it means you're one of the true SEOTpreneurs and I've got something super special for you. You might be a true SEOTpreneur that just found the channel today, welcome aboard. Or you might be one of the true SEOTpreneurs who's been around since day one and you've been watching in the background. I appreciate all the views that you've been giving to the channel. I love how you watch these videos in the background as you work on your store. I have something really special for you because quite frankly, I wanna take you up to the top with me so that I have people who remember where we all started from, right? And, and eventually, as we become more successful with our TPT businesses, we can learn from each other because I'm looking for a core group of people who love this stuff, who get energized by these challenges of being a teacherpreneur. I need to find you because I can't hold myself accountable to do work because I'll come up with excuses. So I need to find us, and so I'm giving away 500 free reports. What, here's what I mean by that. And um, if you're watching this video after I've given away 500 of these free reports, um, you can still get this. You're gonna, do, you're gonna be able to do what I do, but you're gonna have to give up your credit card information to start a trial in order to do that. Not the end of the world because you can cancel the membership, but remember to cancel the SEMrush membership before seven days, before the seven day trial ends. Otherwise it will automatically become a membership. The true SEOT printers, if you scroll down here on the, the show notes for episode 22, secret bonus for the true SEOT printers. So if you know what I'm talking about, which you will right now, you're gonna click here the first link. And if you find this later on or you forget, then click the second link. Anyways, th that link will take you to a forum explaining how to get what I'm offering right now for free. So the free version of SEMrush without starting a trial, you only get like 10 in like a couple of things here. And it's not enough to get a good picture of what keywords to go after. So what I will do for you is if you fill out the form and you tell me the product that you're going after, and it's all talked about here. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, like click here. What I will do is I'll go into SEMrush. I'll demo for my actual data, but just pretend that we're using your keyword. All right, I've logged into my SEMrush account. I have a pro membership. Uh, and again, you can do this with a trial for the pro membership if you're not one of the first 500 people to respond to this. But anyways, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go back to the main menu. I'm just gonna click on this top button. And at the top here, I'm just gonna paste my keyword here. Click on search. 
All right, so same information, but this time when I click on the keyword variations, view all 2000 words, again, I get more words in here, but more importantly, I can click on this export button. So I'll click on this export button. I'll export this data as a CSV. Uh, I will um, save this data. All right, let's just save it here. Okie dokie. Um, and I will go into my free magic analysis tool. I click on this yellow box. I'm walking through information that if you're doing this on a free trial, this is how you would use this tool. But I have a special offer for 500 of you. Keep on watching. Okay, so I click on this B1 cell and I just go file, I go import, I click on upload, I click and drag the CSV in here. Give it a second to think. I'm going to replace data at the selected cell. I'm going to import data and boom. I now have all of the keywords that were on that page, right? There's a lot of data in here. Uh, a couple things I need to make sure I do. This difficulty rating, sorry there, right? This is a formula. I'm just gonna go control N, control down. So this is a formula here. I need to make sure it goes all the way to the bottom. So I'm just gonna go control C and I just go all the way to the bottom. I'll go control V, I'll paste that in. All right, so now I have a lot more keywords to analyze. I don't have to do this stuff with SEMrush with the uh, chat GPT table formatting. I can skip that. The definitions are the same. I'm gonna skip that right now. But now when I go to this pivot table, I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna select all for the, the values. I'm gonna select all for this. I, I just have these in case you wanna be able to play with some more difficulties. But now I have a lot more keywords in here and you can see at the top, I can now see some keywords that are very easy to go after and rank on Google search for. And I can see how keyword difficult, I can see the average cost per click. So now with more data, this becomes a very, a, a much more interesting process in order to find out information. So if I click on this volume, this chart here, so now I have a bigger landscape. Not all keywords are worth your time, but look how like this, if I hover over here, and I'm just gonna make this a little bit bigger. In fact, I'm gonna go, uh, no, I'll just go F11 to make this full screen. Like this reading comprehension strategies of all these difficult keywords, this is the one I need to go after because there's so much more volume for that. So I definitely need to go for that. Um, I might even buy, see if I can buy reading comprehension strategies.com. We'll see, cause that actually, yeah. Yeah, we'll talk more about that later, right? But this one here, that one's interesting. Comprehension strategies for reading. We saw that before. Uh, I can't really see everything. Be, like this is too crammed in here at this level. So that's why I'm gonna go to chart two, which is a logarithmic chart, right? So now this starts to tease out. I might say, you know what? I'm gonna try to rank for these easy ones here. And in that case, what's higher volume, like which strategy would most likely improve a strategy, a student's reading comprehension. I might write a blog post about that while I'm trying to optimize for this post up here about reading comprehension strategies. So this is again, some more data to help you play with. If I sort it, if I look at chart three, like cost per click, I have a lot more interesting data. Again, remember the bottom is the difficulty with the right hand side being hard and going up vertically is the cost per click that people are spending on ads. So. I'm personally looking for things, if I'm just starting, I'm looking for things in that 20 to 30 range, right? Like, okay, reading comprehension strategies for preschoolers, that doesn't apply to me. I write content for middle school. Uh, Research-based strategy for reading comprehension strategies, I might try that more than I might try something like LSAT reading comprehension strategies. Evidence-based strategy, so here we go. Evidence-based strategy for reading comprehension or reading comprehension research-based strategies. So even though they have approximately the same amount of search volume based on the size of the bubble, research-based strategies for research comprehension, people spend more money on that, which makes me think that other people think that that's a more valuable keyword to go for. Who knows? Uh, and if I go by, oh yeah, there's nothing in this logarithmic. Oh no, this is logarithmic. It's the keyword difficulty that's logarithmic. There you go. So now that I can see that there's more data, yeah. Now this is spaced out vertically, uh, 
it's it's by cost but I might be like yeah okay so now I'm looking for those hidden ones I just hover over it, reading based research based research research based reading comprehension strategies if you're watching this video and you're one of the first 500 people to watch this video click there and I'll talk about uh, I'll do this for you like you tell me the link of your your top PPT product I will share with you this Google Sheet so that all you have to do is just click on the pivot table, the volume, the, the charts, and try to do your analysis there. If you want that freebie, go to episode 22 show notes. And if you know what I'm talking about, click here. All right. We'll see you in the comments. Thank you so much for helping us get to 500. Let's see how fast we can get to 1000 subs. We got this. Here we go.